So we're now going to examine how we can calculate work in an electric field. Now the formula is quite easy to use, as long as you know what it is, but rather than just tell you what it is, let's kind of work it out. So to keep things simple, we're going to use a uniform electric field. And you might remember, in a uniform electric field, we calculate that E equals V over D, and we'll be using that shortly. That, of course, is this voltage here, and distance, of course, is between the plates, this distance here. Now, you need to remember what work means. And this, is no, this doesn't change. You've done work before in dynamics. So what does work actually mean? It's, it's energy transfer. Yeah, it's basically the amount of energy that you need to move from point A to point B, right? Mm -hmm. So let's imagine I've got a positive charge here. Yeah. Now, I want to move it here. Do I need to put in energy or does it release energy when, I, when it moves from here to here? You have to put in energy. Right. And the reason of that is quite clear because you're going against the electric field here. So to go from point A to point B, I need to put in energy. So quite clear for the positive charge from A to B, work is required. And, you know, all the concepts about work doesn't change. We can definitely do that. So now the question is, how do we calculate work? So how do we calculate work? Think about your dynamics. How do you calculate work? The amount of like, energy you have to use to transfer A to B. Well, we're going to have to put in energy. And we're just trying to calculate the amount of energy that we need to move it from A to B. Yeah. Right? yeah. And the question in general is, how do we calculate work? Think of your formulas you've learned before. How do you calculate work? Oh, that's veloc velocity times force? Or distance times force? Well, yeah. It's force times displacement. So yeah, you yeah. might want to go and revise <laughs> your earlier work, but this is just from your dynamics chapter. Yeah, the second time I, I was right. Now, the distance, not yet. With force times displacement, you can quite clearly see this displacement here is just D. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, how much force do we need to put in? Uh, We're going against the electric field. Electrostatic field. So, how do we calculate the force? of the electrostatic field. Or force exerted by. The, the formula you just said before? Exactly. So I'll rewrite it here so you can refer to it. But yes, we did go through it before. It's F equals QE. And remember, that's just like your W equals MG. So in a way, right? You know, when you went against the gravitational field, you did mg times h, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going against the electric field. It's qe times d. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Whereas before, when you were going against the gravitational field, this was m and this was g and this was h. But the concepts are the same. Instead of m, you've got q. Instead of g, you've got e. And you're multiplying by the distance, right? Mm -hmm. But E is equal to V over D. So that then leaves us with, you can see that the D cancels. And that just gives you QV. As a result, using principles from dynamics, we can say that the work in an electric field is equal to the charge times the potential difference, the voltage. In other words, work W must equal Q times V. 
work must equal the charge times the voltage. Okay. Great. But for the voltage, like usually the question will give us a... Depends on the question. They could either give that to you or they could, you know, give you E and ask and D and ask you to calculate voltage. Okay. 